Hello YouTubers and fellow Screenings fans, my name is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan and today we're doing our Let's Play Runeverse. The last video we entered this Woodlands and boy oh boy was this a t step up from the previous dungeons we did. These monsters in here are tough. I put the encounter rate on double, I know that's kind of contradictory, but we kind of could use the experience so we're getting through it somehow. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to take it a bit slower. Also got Nana and Toto, which makes our party of five. So let's see if we can get through this forest. We ended our video here in between the soldiers. And we'll go from there. I do believe we already went up here. Yeah, we did. As you can see, the encounter rate is quite high. Let's check if there's any... Okay, no uh, evolved units, or evolved enemies, no glowing ones. Let's see, fire. we should switch over to melee attacks from here or maybe one more uh, let's do one more final one let's kill the flower first there we go Fire doesn't affect them that much. So let's kill the chicken. And then what can we use? Maybe... I think this one works quite well on them. Yeah, pretty good. 2000. So physical attacks for these guys. Let's see if we can kill these guys without losing a unit. Well, that one has auto revive, so that's okay. <clears throat> Just one left. Five forces one, so we got this one in the bag. And he dropped a cap claw. Level up, sweet. See if we can equip some better items on these characters. That's what she's got equipped. Normal attack can do is cold, normal attack damage. I'm not sure which is better. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the game chooses to. Still the old one. Party strongest. There we go. Right, so now we're past the point where we were. Gonna check the top left here. There's a chest hidden in there. No glowing enemies, it seems, so let's just take them down. Go with the natural gossamer first. Probably should set my uh, cursor to memory if that's an option in this game because it doesn't. Remember the last unit I keep attacking. It keeps switching back to the original position. It can be a bit annoying if you're trying to get through the battle quickly by just pressing X. Seems the magic attacks really do a number on my characters. Got this one. Easy battle here. Kinda kinda reminds me of a fat chocobo. Shema coin. I still don't know what the Shema coins do. If 
by Lexor. I kind of forgot to equip that. Maybe the game did that for me, I'm not sure. It didn't, so there we go. Um, got these, I suppose. Plant some new berries, a strength berry, and an HP berry. Weapon, armor, accessories, key items. Is it just a normal item then? Doesn't appear to be here, so... Quest. Subquest. No objectives accepted. Alright. So far I've been keen on trying to get all the subquests we encounter, but so far it's only been one. Right, and we encountered a very dangerous lizard who has a tremendous attack power. Luckily, they're all bunched together, so I can all kill them with magic at the same time. Arrow ball or tri edge? Um, let's go with, I don't know, gust shot maybe, like this. Wow, that is super strong. There you go, kill all three of them at once. That ghost shot is so OP. Costs a lot of mana though. Nothing in this corner. Packs keep getting bigger and bigger every time. I'm not gonna flee yet. We got fire. Um that here. Ah, my controller's running low. Another fire attack. Then we have magic dresher, magic block, sunlight. I don't know. I need a skill that attacks in the diagonal way, or horizontally, I mean. There we go, attack this guy. None of them are glowing, that's a good part about it, I guess. Try edge arrow ball, let's go with arrow ball on these guys. Kaboom. Mm, on these guys. And he's still got a double thing in, unfortunately. He's dead now. Got three units left. Fire, how about physical skills? Random scratch. Or back cut, that one. Pretty good. I'll just melee the rest down. First the chicken. Never mind, first the gossamer then. This was a tough battle, we still won though. That's gonna give us a buttload of experience, you can be sure of that. 3100, nice. And an Aether. Right, so we're just gonna go down here first. There's nothing there on the left side, so we'll go loop around on the right side. Um, let's attack the Gossamer first. Almost killed the little bugger. I think I'm starting to understand why I'm able to kill these guys so quickly. Because they are in the front row. Now the question is... Does this automatically put the flower in the front row? Because now he's the first up. Or... It doesn't matter. Basically, the spot you start at determines how much defense and HP and attack you have. I think that's the case, because the bird is, like, the furthest back now. But he still doesn't take a lot of damage, even though he's the only unit there. All 
Alright, let's go back. Another chest here. You can select berry, sweet. Hmm, let's go with Let's go with fire. Burn the chickens. Then let's go with magic. Let's go with sunlight. Let's see how that does. Ooh, that's powerful. Try edge arrow ball. I'll just do the rest with melee attacks to conserve some mana. Hopefully that's an Eever. Level up. And an Eever, medium even. Alright. Another magic stone. It's a monument. Please decide Red Toto. Toto? I know, I know already. Let's see what it says here. During the war, those who served under the Demon Lord had various powers, and attack by his three generals were especially fierce. However, we who were endowed with pure powers never succumbed to them. Those granted to us by the Seraph Lord himself were enough to stop them with a single word. We who then drove back the demons like a storm cloud, had the prayers of the humans backing us, and began our march on where their generals awaited us, is what it says. This one was only written about Legends 2, but this is the first time I've heard this story. The first brigade of the Royal Army has requested for experts to decipher these monuments and things have slowly begun getting done. But with so many of these in the world, most of them remain undeciphered, since the first brigade also had to protect the Royal Family. I've been thinking earlier, but how much of that was written on these monuments is true? That's the million gold question. Given the existence of monsters, I can't think that everything else is false. That's surprising, I thought all folklorists believed in the legends. I'm not a folklorist, I'm a swindler. <laughs> Even in the midst of being a swindler. All I have is an interest in them and not a prosperity to believe everything I read. It's true that there's a lot of researchers who do blindly believe them though. Dude, I know you were amazing Toto, you deserve a spinning fur up for that. I told you not to rub my fur the wrong way, shrimp. I'll never be the it'll never be the same again. <laughs> I like how Kid is like, oh wait, shit, he's going after me again. Let's get going, I'm worried about the soldiers, and I told Alvin I'll let him know the results of our search afterwards. Hmm, well, I would also be fine with receiving a payment after all of this is done. I know it said something different, but basically meant the same what I said anyway. Let's go with the flower. Alright, that takes care of the uh, furry ball with wings. Panacea. All of that, and, oh my god, all of these areas are gigantic. Going right first. Rule number one in RPGs, take the death path first. Weak, okay. Well... We finally killed one before it was able to flee. But this was a weak one, so I'm not sure if it's the same. It wasn't a metal one. 
Guess it's just a normal enemy in here, maybe. That attack looks like it's hitting all of my party members. Luckily, it's only hitting one. Get this flower out of the way. Magical sword, speed berry, and an angel tear. E for medium, I'll take it. Alright, so yeah, these are normal enemies now. Except for this one, who is glowing. Dude, chill down. Have some fire, will ya? I'll take care of the first one. Arrow ball. Critical. Kill the little gnome quickly, please. Oh, that takes care of him. Now the other dangerous animal in here. The earth lizard. I thought we were lucky to encounter one of those gnomes again. Turns out these are just the normal ironies. They don't seem to flee either. Crap. Glowing lizard. Mmm. Let's see. How are we gonna take this down ASAP? Mutant Earth Lizard. Back cut. See if we can push him forward a little bit. There we go. Magic block, uh, sunlight. Yeah, that could do. Muscle flexing, trophy earned. Dealt 5,000 max damage to enemies. Arrow ball. Oh, that thing has a sh bunch of HP. Yeah, they're all dead. She didn't even get the auto revive. Um, gotta run, we can't win this one, no way. Not with two of those lizards. If it was two normal ones, yes. But a glowing one? No thanks. That's a pretty strong attack as well, but they are very harsh on my MP. I should take care of those two. We'll just kill the rest with melee attacks. Like I said, I'll just see how far we can push. It's not gonna be much further though, we're running out of MP. Maybe I can just restore it with E first. I might just do that. Magic block. Well, it's the only one we can hit with two, so... Switch over to melee attacks from here. Nana is the one who still has a lot of MP, along with Ailey. So the females still have a lot of MP, though the male units ran out, basically. Toto has a bit. Could probably still throw one or two heals with Kit.
flower is gone, all that's left is one little gnome. We got some new swords laying around. I can't tell until you pick it up what kind of uh, rarity it is, I believe. Nothing up there. I seem to get MP back while I'm walking. Oh no, wait, I leveled up. I was like, do I get MP back by walking? No, it's actually just from leveling up. What else do we got? Magic block. I'll throw them on these. Yeah, no magic left. Got some physical skills left. That'll do. Kaboom. So that will be on these guys. Right, I'll switch to melee attacks from here. Most of them are dead now anyway. That's the lizard. Now for the... I'll take the south one first because he's already dead. Now the last one. Another E for M. Sweet. Saw a chest here on the east side. Uh, three units, three units, three units. Let's go with these. Now we got triple claws or steel. Can we steal from multiple units? Ah, I think we can. Let's try. Potion M. And either S. Nice. Magic block uh, on the Earth Lizard, who is the most dangerous, and the Gnome is actually pretty dangerous as well. Nothing I can do with this guy. Kill the Goblin, I suppose. Nana's got Kaboom, so I'll go Kaboom on these three. There we go. Took out half their fighting force. I'll switch to melee only from here on out. Conserve the little man I have left. Right, another victory in the pocket. Take this chest, high panacea. Um, I do believe that we had some more drinks that we could. This one. It's the only one we had. Yeah. How's our herbs doing? Eleven minutes left, and the other, oh, the other one has only got twenty-four seconds left. So that's the the special one that gave us the berry gave us four of each status. So I wonder how powerful the drink will be. Mm. Let's attack like this. Triple Claws is very weak. Magic block. Kill a gnome. Or not. Boom. Um, these three. That kills two of them. Potion Bomb is actually very dangerous. Let's kill the Nimble Goblin. Nimble 
Rebuttal X for Nana. Tojo's already down again. It's okay, we got this. Not before we get hit by another potion bomb, which decimates our entire any, uh, units. I don't think that skill can attack kill us. I wonder if that skill is like the initial impact might kill you, but the potion won't. Surprised we got this far, by the way. Thought really needed to grind a bit. Um, let's attack these guys. Magic block. See if we can kill the goblin. Nope. This should kill him. Right, switching over to normal attacks. There goes Lexor. Toto got a massive hit there. He's still alive, luckily. Barely. There goes... No, oh, he's still alive. I was gonna say there goes Toto, but... There we go, and he's down. Well, before we go much further north, because it seems to be a dead end, and usually when you uh, hit a dead end in dungeons this size, there's usually a boss battle coming up. So I'll start saving here. And I'll jump into the fight without using uh, any restorative magic items, magic potion items. Well, that takes care of one of them. Gonna kill the lizard first before he gets a turn. Which don't think we'll be able to. Or not, never mind. That was a good him uh, combo there. Sweet, I'll take it. Ooh, nice, a blue axe. Smoky t shirt. And that's a lot of enemies that caught me off guard. Alright, enough. My turn. Magic oh, they can even steal weapons, sweet. Well, nothing we can do here. Nana still has a magic attack coming up. Kaboom. Very, very powerful. Throw this fire on them, see if we can kill all three of them at once. Well, I took two down, that's okay. Uh, 
and last the gnome. There we go. Uh, well, I'm gonna save here because I'm not sure which is the right way. I'm assuming it's top right because it's the bigger area of the two. Excuse me. But it might as well be the top left one. And if that's the case, we're pretty much screwed. These goblins are good at sneaking up at me. Nimble goblins. That's one. That's two. Or not yet. That's two. If I didn't have the auto heal, I'd be totally doing this a different way, different style of fighting. But because we do, I might as well just try to lengthen the battles a little bit just by normally attacking them. Not worry too much about my HP. People don't seem to want to link up on this battle. Oh, we still won. Avalonia Leaf? Those are actually really good. And we got a strong gnome here. Let's see if we can kill it. <clears throat> we got Kaboom left, so that should take care of the gnome. There we go, Kaboom. And it's dead. Sweet. I'll just melee the rest. Come on, people. Link up. Like that. Exactly like that. Everyone leveled up. Everyone obtained skill points as well. And yeah, that is most definitely a dead end up there. So, first things first, get the berries. Ability berries, alright. So we just harvested. There's a chance when you plant a berry, you have double, uh, you can get it back twice. So double the amount. It's not really what I was looking for. I wanted the uh, potion, but... We'll be okay. Let's get the skills for our characters. Um, we had Stickman. Dresher is really good, actually. Let's get this one. Then let's get Double Cut as well. Then... We will start with magical skills. So we had to try edge, which is quite powerful. Let's go with Dust Whirlwind, we can. And Toto, who is a physical user. Missile Cut. And then Nana, who was a passive skill user. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. was right. There we go. There's our guy. The other soldiers are battling a monster. That's actually one of the lieutenants that the, the tough guys summoned. 
should stay out of this for a second at least. Um, we got a lot of ethers. Three hundred. Let's use some of these 100s. There we go. Should be okay now. Do a quick save. Let's help them out. Only to find out that they're all dead already. Just get in. Let's help them. What is that thing? Is it really a monster? Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Gra. So I, I said lieutenant, but apparently... Oh, wait. That sound was coming from the humans. I honestly thought that thing was making the sound and then his name was Sergeant. LOL. The Demon's Lord Magic. Where is it? It talked. Right now we need to worry about defeating it. Here it comes. Guard Nightmare. Alright, it summoned a little creature. Let's see how you like fire. Kinda low. How about this one then? Not much difference. Um, we got this one. Sorcerio Sunlight Magic Block. Here, have a block at your head. Eat it. Um, let's go with... Well, let's try it out. That's a l very powerful. And it got a hit seeker. Achieved a 30 consecutive hits. Unfortunately, that was also a very large amount of mana. Let's go kaboom on these guys. There we go. Good hit. Oh, he keeps summoning these guys. Is that all he can do? Um... Let's see, switch, here's your greeting, single cut, double cut, no, you're not getting away, let's try this one. Fire, muscle cut, random scratch, uh, let's go with this one. Magic Dresher, Sorcery of Sunlight. Let's go with this one. And let's go with Dust Whirlwind again. Kill one of them. And we all got potioned. Is there any way to cure this? I, I just realized the boss is hardly taking any damage whatsoever. Look at him. Wonder if he's weak to melee attack instead. Um, bup, 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 bup. Magical skills, please. Sweet, that's a pretty heavy heal. Cure Wind, Offense Wing. Let's go for it. Back cut, steal. Quick loss. Let's try stealing from the boss. Deadly a droplet. Not sure if that's any good to be honest. Single cut again. Um, we're in a bit of a bind here. 
Holy water revives them. I'll take it. Let's heal up. Well, I'm not dead yet, that's the good thing. Switch. I think I do more damage in this form. That is taken care of. Item. Um, there was one where we could heal the inter- yeah, this one. Not sure if that's super rare, but we kind of use it- can use it right now. Protect wing. Let's go. Let's throw up this. Get some more buffs up. And we lost Lexor. How's this? Let's see. That's a decent attack. And I summoned another character. Nice. Steel. Pi Panacea. Heal 2. Okay, and it killed my after image as well. Not good, not good at all, man. This thing is a freaking beast. We claw, we cut this one. Nice. Skills. You're open. Um, so this is... We're pretty good. I could use a heal on her. So I'm gonna use a single heal. There we go. Protect wing. It's gonna buff myself up as much as I can. Barely survived that attack. Um, I need more mana. I need more mana as well. well that's a miss, that's good. Take that any day. Throw another protect wing. Skill. Heal. Um... Lexor is hurt and Toto is hurt. Gotta consume my mana, or gotta conserve my mana a little bit. There we go. Let's see. There we go. You're open. Single cut, you're not getting away. Delays turn, double cut. Let's go with single cut first. Ah, yeah. We cut. Got Lexor. Um, Lexor, how about you try healing Toto? He's the only guy we didn't heal. Unfortunately, that's also the guy that died. There we go. Skill. Double cut, then. Watch your step. Single cut. I think we should probably... Well, we might be able to take this guy down, but at what cost? That's the question, really. Pro 
what will you do? Offense wing. Fortunately, I don't have mana. So. Okay. That might hurt. Oh, not that bad. Here's your greeting. Eat it. Offense wing. Here we go. Let's go with, um... Or a spread, maybe. Kaboom. All right, let's see. Tri edge, just whirlwind. Let's go with that. Seem to do quite a bit of damage. How come I can't choose items? Enemy's magic circle. Alright, alright. Is that like the game's way of telling you, like, no, you need to level up. You've been using so many items, you're cheating. Go level up. We're doing quite a bit of damage on him, but it's not going to be enough. Especially now that we're losing units. I still can't use items, unfortunately. I can try Kaboom. It's a pretty strong attack. There we go. Do up Toto as much as I can. Boss is potion. That's actually pretty good. And he lost his magic circle. Awesome. We might have these guys. Barely, but we might be able to do it. of attack. We lost one unit and I don't have any revives left so let's hope we can beat this guy in time. Yeah, I survived that because I just healed myself. Sweet. Come on, he should be dead any moment now, right? Toto's still okay. Die! Come on, chain. No one's chaining. There we go, finally. No one leveled up, surprisingly. A potion ring and a hypnosia. We beat it! Guga. Shh, get wrecked. Elvin. Ooh! K kid! I'm alright. Guga. This is bad. The soldier will be killed. Leave him alone! Huh? Now. Oh, like now! Alright, that's a thing. So Elvin was able to tell the demon to stop and it basically just stopped dead in its track. What was that just now? Does that mean Elvin is the demon prince? How is he doing? 
I cannot say his condition is good, nor have I seen this type of potion before. Whoa, what? Then are you saying my subordinate is going to... For now, let us return to Quaid Town. I cannot treat him properly here. Understood. It looked like the monster reacted to Elvin's voice earlier. Could it be what was written on the monument? Was not to mention the monster could talk. I wonder if... What's wrong? It's uh, nothing important. Let's just hurry and say goodbye to this place. I agree. Story updated. So... I think we should just walk back all the way? You get these. So yeah, the Ambrosias are potions and still berries. We, sp we used up a lot of items during that battle. Then again, I guess it's more fun to watch if you're just going through it instead of grinding. Though I could grind off screen, but... Yeah, I'm just putting everything on Kit as much as possible right now. Because I... In my eyes, he's the main character, so... Physical skill... Summon Hedgehog. Sure, I'll take it. Um, what else do we have? Maybe I should check if my characters can use better items. Nope. That's better, isn't it? I'll take this, thanks. I got a magical head, 27 plus 28. Medic ring. Well, he's the healer, so... Legs are strong. I could do the whole team strongest, but I want to check every time something changes. So, we decided to go for this one instead of this one. Why? Because it does more damage, so the game only keeps damage into consideration, I guess. Oh, we got another ring. Um, strongest. Let's get the potion ring on him. And then we got Nana. And she had a lot of magic axes. Yeah, I'm not going to sort this out. Just equip the strongest one. There we go. She choose for this one. Strength and physical that Yeah, that's definitely a good one. Alright guys, we still have a few minutes, so... Instead of just... Teleporting back, I'm gonna walk back. Why? Well, more experience. Obviously, that boss took a lot out of us, so... If that's what we're facing, we definitely need the experience. Might not be able to get out of this dungeon before the episode ends. That boss battle took a lot of time. We seem to be weak against uh, melee attacks. And we took down there his adds first. The first two uh, turns he used, he summoned these little guardians. I'm not sure if they were dangerous, but we killed them pretty quickly, so... And Toto seemed to be on the right... Uh, he had the same idea. I had about uh, Elvin or he seems to be on the same idea I am at least level up sweet so yeah I'm still is it still set on double it is now we can even set it to triple well is it the encounter rate yeah it is I'm gonna set it to triple and then make my way back and we'll just see if I make it. If I won't be able to make it, I can always escape and just uh, teleport out. That's what I'll be aiming on from now on. After defeating the boss, switch it to triple and make our way back on foot. Gonna take care of this gnome first because he's glowing. I don't like glowing gnomes, they're dangerous. I 
for some reason Nana still has a massive amount of magic points. There we go. Took care of the glowing gnome. Glowing gnome. Took care of the flower. I like the goblin though. I mean, his sword is so gigantic. It's like the buster sword from Cloud. I mean, look at this, the size of his head. Look at the size of his sword. Get wrecked, little gnome. Get wrecked. I d with the triple encounter, I do have to check on the map, though, because I don't want to be aimlessly going in the wrong direction. So far, we've been countering the weak ones, but we've encountered, like, one of those T-Rexes or Earth... What was it? Earth Lizards? They're dangerous. Especially if they start glowing. I'm gonna flee from those immediately. So I kinda like in this game that not only we can connect our attacks, but so can the enemy. So it's definitely better to have more numbers. So in this case I just prefer to take down the whoever I can take down first. So they can't join up in the uh, combo attacks. There we go, that's another one down. Like I said, triple encounters, not too bad. Sure, you fight a lot more, but, uh, you know, with the auto healing after each battle, why not? Especially if you can take down most of them with melee attacks now, anyway. Like to have a little bit more easier boss fights than the previous one. I mean, not as easy as the one where we're fighting Toto. Could kill him in like two blows. Haven't had a trophy for a while. Surprised after killing that boss we didn't get one. Alrighty, and this will... Okay, we just encountered two, two of these little buggers. Um, I'll try attacking them. I was gonna say I was gonna end the video after this battle, but we might have to end this video inside this battle. The weak cut is actually really good. Lowers their attack and defense. See if we can kill him before the timer runs out. What timer you might be asking? Well, we're reaching the hour mark. There we go. Took care of that little bastard. Alrighty guys, that's it. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave it a like. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to help out, please consider subscribing yourself. Also, if you have any tips, comments or suggestions, leave them down below and I'll try to reply to you as soon as I can. This is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next. Till then.